I am really excited. So I just got two of x Rite latest colorimeter that they just have announced into our studio to run testing and do a whole bunch of videos on them. But before we do that, let's unbox them live. So this is a box that UPS just delivered. So let's go ahead and cut these open up and kind of see what's inside there. So starting off, I have the new x Rite i1 display studio this is the device that will run with the i1 studio software so that's cool and then the other one that i have here is the x right i1 display pro plus now i'm excited to get my hands on to both of these but i'm really excited to try this one because well this one is meant for any kind of screen calibration is meant for users who are aspiring to be photographers uh, professionals and including professionals can use it too or what i'm trying to say is prosumers but professional can use this too now this one though is really designed for professionals it's for photographers and for videographers and with this one what's supposed to be really exciting about them is that this is supposed to increase in sensitivity meaning that this device the i1 display pro plus here can measure screens that are as bright as 2000 nits now just for reference our computer displays generally goes up to about 400 nits and a print brightness or the correct brightness for print viewing in this case or print editing for photographers is around 100 nits but essentially this device is supposed to be much more sensitive than the i1 display pro to have come before it so let's go ahead and take it out of box see what's inside i already have the software running on here so what we're going to do is go ahead and do some preliminary calibration and let's see the result i'll, I'll have more in-depth videos and reviews coming later on too so let's go ahead and cut this open it's like opening box ASMR so the packaging is very similar to what you see before there's a little manual a little thank you card there and here it is this is the i1 display pro plus really cool device shiny it looks almost exactly like the one that came before it which i'll put them side by side right now this is the i1 display pro plus the i1 display pro now both of these are still on the market today so you can kind of pick and choose between the two there is a price difference between them but at some point though if this is going to be a much better device, I would just tell you to get the i1 Display Pro Plus. Now, another thing to kind of note and keep in mind too is that even if you're not working on the brightest display right now, you never know. In the future, you may be doing so. And if that is the case, the i1 Display Pro Plus may be the device that you want to consider right out of the box. Now, let's open up the i1 Display Studio. One more thing to note too that I didn't mention is that the i1 Display Pro Plus and the i1 Display Pro works with the i1 Profiler. That's x Rite Professional Calibration Software. And the i1 Display Studio will work with the i1 Display, excuse me, will work with the i1 Studio software. So let's go ahead and unbox this open. This is going to be very similar to you see in the other one. There's a manual there or a little literature, um, a little thank you card and the x Rite i1 Display Studio. So let's go ahead and take this out. This is a, it also has a new colorimeter smell if you, you know, get it really close to you. So like new car smell is kind of neat. Now, <clears throat> let's kind of talk about the difference between these three devices a little bit. So on the outside, these three devices look almost the same to each other, but you get the brand naming on the side so you know exactly which device you're using or which device you're going to plug into your computer. You don't have to plug in your computer first and figure out if it's the right device or not. Starting out, we have the i1 Display Pro. This is the classic colorimeter that I recommend for the longest time because I think it is personally from my testing one of the best colorimeters for display calibration. All of these devices will do display, they will do projector. This is the brand new i1 Display Pro Plus. Now this one is supposed to be much more sensitive as I mentioned before. This can measure displays up to 2000 nits. So what I'm going to do here in a moment is test it out on my laptop here, the MacBook Pro. And we're going to kind of do some preliminary testing and see 
how the result is going to be like. I'm really excited about that. And then lastly here, I have the i1 Display Studio. Now the i1 Display Studio will work with the i1 Studio software. The i1 Studio software is really meant for aspiring professionals or any prosumers out there or anybody who wants to calibrate their screen and get good color result. If you're going to do any kind of printing at all or involve any printing or any professional workflow, then I would definitely recommend that you get the i1 Display Pro or the Pro Plus. All right, that being said, let's go ahead and take the i1 Display Pro Plus and let's plug it into our computer. I'm not gonna go too much in depth with the software here. In this case, we're just gonna kind of just run through the software, quickly calibrate it, and then pull the ICC profile up in color sync to see how it looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. By the way, if you're wondering, it still comes with a USB type A cord and what I have done there is use a USB type A to type C to link it up to my MacBook Pro with a USB type C port. All right, so let's call i1 profiler up. It's asking us if it can check for update automatically. I'm gonna go ahead and say check, which is perfectly fine. And then we'll wait for the program to launch here. I am going to wait for the computer to recognize the i1 Display Pro Plus. In fact, I'm going to go down here and click on i1 Display Plus here. There we go. Now it's showing up. It's all green marks. It's ready to go. Let's go click on Advance. And then we are going to do profiling. Now the interface, because if you use the i1 Display Pro, you will notice that the interface is exactly like what it is before. It hasn't really changed. In this case, I'm going to profile my laptop to 100 Candela. The gamma curve here, I'm going to use 2.2, which is perfectly great. Let's go ahead and close that out. And next thing we're going to go click here is the profile setting. Because I'm running on a Macintosh, I'm going to keep the ICC profile version 4. That's perfectly fine. In this case, the color patches, what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and pick the large color patch and let's see how this looks. And then now I'm at the measurement screen. Let's scroll down here a little bit. And then we're going to go click on start measurement. So the moment you click on start measurement, it's going to disable any other profile that was there. It's going to go back to panel native, which is good. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and hang the i1 Display Pro Plus from the display. On the display like so. Make sure you tilt your laptop screen black so that it remains flat on the display so that light doesn't come in and contaminate it. And let's go ahead and click next here. So what it's doing right now is asking me to adjust the brightness on my laptop screen. Right now is at 128 candela, it's a little bit bright. What I'm going to do first though is pull this up all the way. And at full brightness, my laptop is measuring 437 candela, just thereabout. And then what I'm going to do here is count how many times I have to come down. So let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's try 5 down and see where we're at. So 5 down, I'm at 93. If I do four down, I'll be at 115. I'd rather err on the dark side in this case. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose five down and that's gonna put me at 93 candela in this case. I'm gonna go ahead and click on next and now is going to measure those patches. So there's 461 patches is measuring. It should go fairly fast in this one. In general, this should take about eight minutes if you do a full large size patch. Then afterwards, we'll come back and see the result. Okay, so the calibration is now done. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. Let's go ahead and click next here. So we have the measurement. Let's go to ICC profile. I'm going to name this, let's shortcut key this, I1 Display Pro Plus, DPP. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and click on save profile. So I have a profile successfully saved. Let's go ahead on display QA here. Let's run a Quality assurance or quality check with the X-Rite Color Checker Passport patches. Those are 24 patches here. This should be really quick. Let's do a start measurement. And then afterwards, we'll go into Color Sync Utility and look at the color wedge. 
The reason for the second verification is to verify our profile to see if the profile that we created is good or not. After the verification here, what is going to report or what it's going to show us is a delta E value. So the delta E value is kind of a assurance value to see how off your display is from the reference value. So what I'm going to go ahead and click on next and go see the report. So my report I have here a delta E average for this display of 0 0.29 which is really good. Again for reference anytime you can calibrate a display so that the delta E value is below 2 that's considered really accurate colors in this case. So now that I have the display verified, I'm going to go ahead and just really close this out. Well, let's go ahead and add this to trending quickly first, and then we'll go ahead and exit the program. So let's add this to trending. Perfect. And then let's go ahead and exit i1 Display Pro. I'm going to go ahead and call up Color Sync Utility. And this is where the funds begin. So what we're going to do now is this is the profile that I have calibrated my laptop using the i1 Display Pro. So the profile looks really good. The 3D color space right here looks really smooth on both sides. Now I'm going to go ahead and say let's hold this for comparison. And I'm, I'm going to bring in the ICC profile from the X-Rite i1 Display Pro that's measured using the large patches. And let's see how that looks. Okay. So again, it's kind of one of those give and take where the i1 Display Pro can show a little bit more in some areas. Now let's actually go ahead and hold this one, the i1 Display Pro, and let's do the i1 Display Pro Plus and bring that in. So it's really kind of interesting. They're really close to each other result-wise. As you can kind of see here, with the i1 Display Pro Plus, we can see a lot more of the deeper blues, and in this case, a lot more of the deeper reds. While Many times we are actually not seeing as well of like the green or kind of like the purple tones as we can kind of see here. Overall though, they're fairly close to each other. I just think that because of the change in hardware, it causes some sensitivity changes in certain color spectrum and that may be the case here. But if you take a look at even just the outline of the 3D model itself, there's really not even a gap like or not even a big gap at all. So it pretty much covers it fairly well. So this is only the preliminary result. I'm going to do a lot more testing on this and we'll have like a full video review of this device. But so far, I'm really liking what I'm seeing here. Now what's really going to make this device shine is that when you're using this with a reference display or with a really, really bright display. For example, the new Apple XDR display, this is going to be the device that you want if you're going to calibrate that display so that it shows proper color. I hope that you are as excited as I am and found this video helpful. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit on the notification bell so you'll be updated every time I upload cool contents like this. And until next time, art is right.